previous session in this campus network design and operation series talked about campus network security and gave a general and yet detailed overview on some of the critical pieces. What we're going to do now is look at some of the configuration details of what was discussed in the previous session. Too many campus network operators believe that firewall insertion in the upstream segment will solve all their campus security needs. We learned that in the previous session. We also learned that today's end user devices have all built-in firewalls that are turned on. Most attacks on today's network infrastructure come from the internal users and their devices. Most viruses and exploits are initiated by users clicking malicious links or opening infected emails. And both of these will lead to malicious software being installed. And as we saw, firewalls are major bottlenecks in today's high-capacity, high-speed campus backbones, whether real or future planned. A modern, in other words, 21st century approach to network security needs to consider modern approaches, namely that we protect the critical infrastructure assets of the campus, and firewalls do have a role. We're not saying throw firewalls away. We're saying that firewalls need to be placed where they're going to be most effective. We need strategies that will allow users to do the work, to do the research, and get their education. As we learned before, if the campus security devices get in the way of users doing the work, or doing the research, or their education, they will find other ways to bypass the lack of servers from the campus network, to the detriment of all. So this presentation is going to look at how we go about securing the campus network, looking at the nitty gritty details. We're going to look at securing campus network devices. We're going to look at border router filtering. We're going to look at anti-spoofing filters. And we will look at routing security. And we're also going to encourage you to get to know your colleagues. In fact, the anti-spoofing filters and routing security is all covered in a separate video series on learn.nsrc.org called MANNERS, the Mutually Agreed Norms for Routing Security. And we'd encourage all campus administrators to have a look at that video series to discover in more detail how campuses can do their part to help secure the global routing infrastructure.